Hey guys, this is Randy with Satter Station Farm. So we've got piglets now. Spot has had her first piglets. Cream skull, boots, and peg leg are all in their pens. Jaws is coming to say hi. Fucking chicken. So we want to castrate our males, because if not, they're going to grow up with boar taint. So we can castrate them within the first 36 hours. It's kind of what I shoot for. They're super small, they're really just developing the nervous system. Rather than wait until they're older, you can still castrate when they're older, but I've just found uh, it's the most stress-free and easiest time to do it when that first 24, 36 hours, um, they're just, that first 24 hours hanging out with their mom, and they're getting their colostrum, and they're just kind of getting used to the world. You get them castrated, then they're back with mom for a few days, just healing up and getting readjusted, and then they're back into the big common area, playing around like piglets, and they, like nothing ever happened. They heal super fast. Uh, it's pretty minimal work. It actually goes really fast. And uh, I'm gonna show you the way that I do it. So let's get to it. So uh, we set up a little station, uh, grab some iodine, and I really just set up this makeshift uh, table in my workshop. Uh, grab yourself some nice, sharp, disposable scalpels. You can get regular scalpels, just make sure they're razor sharp. It'll make this job go way easier. Some rubber gloves, really, really all you need. When you're doing piglets between 24 and 36 hours, you can do them by yourself. They're super chill. The nervous system is still developing. I hold them with one hand with my left hand. I'll clean them up a little bit with some iodine. And then when you press with your thumb, you can see the testicles push up right against their scrotal sac. And we're just going to make two small vertical incisions. So be sure that you don't cross over the center line between the testicles. really don't need to go very far. As you press on them, sometimes you get to make a second little, there's like a second little membrane in there sometimes. You get to punch through. If you're pushing really hard to try to get testicles to pop out, um, just cut again. Because uh, they should pop right out just like that uh, when the cut is deep enough. You grab one to both at once, pop right out, everything's done. And a little iodine. Uh, some folks do that, some folks don't. Uh, we used to use blue coat, uh, but it's got alcohol in it. We used to get a bit more squealing when we use that, so now we use iodine. It doesn't seem to bother them. Now, for the most part, most piglets are going to sit pretty still. You, They're going to squeal more when you pick them up to do anything. Uh, occasionally, you'll have some testicles that haven't quite dropped properly, or they're a bigger pig piglet, or a smaller piglet, or the portions are just off a little bit. Uh, so sometimes they don't go 100% smoothly, and these are the first ones I've done this year, uh, so it's been a little while since I've done them, so I was a little slow. Uh, but really, it's like a 15 second process. It really shouldn't take any time. If the cuts are deep enough, you're going to cut right into those testicles. You're going to cut through the outer membrane of skin, that inner membrane that goes around them, and they should pop right out pretty easily without too much fuss. See it wiggling around. It doesn't like being handled. It's all new for it. It's only been alive for a day. So it's got a lot going on in the world. Its little feet just want to run and it just wants to get after things. All these new surfaces, all these new conditions. I can't help the camera there. Couple incisions. Pops right out. Grab on. Pull. Go. Squirt. Moving on with life. 
super short procedure. It doesn't take long. And right from here, we're going right back to mom. Nestle right in. Remember this time mom's done eating breakfast. She's going to the bathroom. She's at water. And everyone's nursing. Settling in for the afternoon. And recovering. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions or if you guys know other methods work great, let me know. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs>